from the Middle East. You are not native African. No, not at all. Ethiopian. As a matter of fact, we don't have the Negro blood at all. And uh, we migrated from uh, the Semitic type of the Saudi Arabia and Yemen and the countries just away from the uh, Red Sea. And the, I mean, the origin could be said that some people dra drafted and came to the northern part of Ethiopia. And then they migrated inwards. And time went on, they stayed and, uh, and stayed. And then the Hamitic races from the bordering, the, from the south and from Sudan and things like that, from the countries but in if Africa. You, excuse me for interrupting, but if you don't have Negro blood, then uh, this is news to me. The Ethiopians, I would think, wouldn't have any particular feeling about uh, race relations in other parts of Africa. We don't at all do. We don't at all feel any re relationship. We don't, it's none of our concern. I mean, we just don't care about it. As we don't have the Negro blood, we shouldn't have to worry ourselves. I mean, the color you might, <laughs> the color of my face, it's just dark because it's due to the exposure of the sun. And my country is a mountainous country. It's 800 feet above sea level. And it's more or less nearer to the sun than is the other <laughs> countries that live near the equator. Yuma, yeah. you're not white? And not black? Not black. What yeah. are you? It's just in between. <laughs> Yuma, and I would like to know, are you, for instance, uh, very much interested in the South African race policy? Or, or do you stand more or less objective towards that? Not at all. We wish it. We, you would do thi you would do things fairly. I mean, I wish we wish we don't. You don't treat the South, native South Africans as you do right now. But as a matter of fact, we don't care. We just listen to your policies and things that go on in South Africa. But I'd like to ask you one question: Would it become more? I mean, more? Would it be? Uh, would you think it would be uh, a little? Oh. Me? Wait, just would, would, it, would the matter be worse or better, I mean, within these few years, or how, 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 what is the stand right now could of this South African problem? Could I just ask you another question before I answer yours? Yeah. Uh, is there any discrimination, for instance, between the, uh, the separate tribes in your country? How do you, for instance... I'm very happy you brought that point. As a matter of fact, we... Uh, the Amhara tribes consider ourselves superior to the other tribes, to the adjacent tribes that live in this same community. And we just consider them inferior and consider ourselves superior. And that could be a, a something of segregation, but it's not actually in the sense that you, t you take it and uh, the Americans in Little Rock take it. I mean, it's just very unprominent. I mean, do you, I'm sorry, do you mean that uh, you think that the other tribes are perhaps a little too primitive, for instance? Not a matter of primitiveness or so. It's just a matter of uh, ignorance, I shall say. Oh. I mean, the Amhara tribes are more cute and <laughs> clever. <laughs> and that's why, you know, they are just... That's your tribe? Yeah, that's my <laughs> tribe. <laughs> I'm that's proud of very it. modest, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and you, do you have whites in Ethiopia? White, white people. Foreigners? White people, yes. Yeah, lots of them. We have the Americans, as a matter of fact. They're working in different departments. And I'd like to uh, say one point on that. They seem to be more cooperative in... Uh, they, are co they looked as though they are cooperative in my country, and I thought it was because they were in a foreign country that they should cooperate. But no, it's... I, I proved it right here. They come in... They have assemblies in communities and things like that. I mean, they are more cooperative than... They, I actually saw it in my country. Yuma, just to get back to another point, uh, do you then think, for instance, it's fair that if there is discrimination in, in Ethiopia, even between, well, the same race and the, s the same nation... Not the same race, of course the same nation. The same nation. Mm -hmm. But do you think then it's, it's fair to judge South Africans as white towards black? If, if you don't, for instance, acknowledge the, uh, the less good Ethiopians, uh, well... I we, do, uh, we do acknowledge them. I don't mean we don't actually consider uh, our discrimination, what you call it, is not as prominent and worldwide known.
as oh, it's yes. seen in South Africa. <laughs> That's it. Well, what are we actually saying here? That there is all kinds of discrimination, and discrimination is all right as long as it isn't too prominent, or as long as it isn't between black and white. What are we saying here, anyway? No, it's like this. She said, you, yeah, do you think your, the discriminations in your country uh, is good or the discrimination, the segregation... Excuse me, let's hear from Susie on this, because Brazil's got a special oh, point yes, of view, I'm sure. No, what they wanted to say is that he was telling her that she has discrimination. She's telling him segregation, he has... Segregation, not discrimination. I'm sorry, segregation. And she's telling him that he has a, a kind of segregation, too. And he won't admit it. <laughs> I did. I just told you first of all. How did you happen to you know it? I told you it's different. Yeah. Yes, because you're all different. <laughs> well, what's it like in Brazil, Susie? <laughs> well, my country has a very good point, a point of advantage in that, because we have no segregation at all, and uh, we could be in the same position as the United States, because we had slaves just the same as they did, just about the same time as they did. Only. Our country was a uh, colony of Portugal, the United States was a colony of England. The England are Anglo-Saxons, the Portuguese are, Latin, are Latins. And the Latin race, how do you say, mingles very easily. So there were marriages between black and white, they form mulattoes, which are not black and are not white, they mingle and mingle and mingle. So now we, we don't have black and white, we have all sorts of colors, from white to very black, <laughs> <laughs> with light brown in between. And in Brazil, there's just no question if that person has a little Negro blood, like here in the States. He has one eighth of Negro blood, he's considered a Negro. He has one sixteenth, he's considered white. We just don't have it. You look at the person, look at another one, there's people. That's what's different.